Hi, I'm Adam and I'm here to talk to you about the Gebret Pipe Scraper. The pipe scraper should be maintained like any other piece of equipment and the Gebret carry case is a great option to ensure the longevity of the tool. Over time the blade may become dull and need replacing. This is very simple to do, all you need is a 2.5mm hex key. Make sure the pipe scraper is not connected to a drill. Then undo the screw on the top of the blade holder. Swing the blade holder open and undo the screw holding the blade in place. Reassemble in reverse order. Ensure the pipe scraper is not connected to a drill. To replace the sliding segments, push a flathead screwdriver into the arrow slots. Push the new sliding segments into place until you hear a click. Test the pipe scraper is operating correctly. Ensure the pipe scraper is not connected to a drill. In order to replace the drive shaft, simply unscrew the three torx screws at the base of the pipe scraper. For this you will need a T15 torx bit, then tighten the new drive shaft in place. Ensure the pipe scraper is not connected to a drill. To replace the button and spring, simply pop the blue gebret button off with a flathead screwdriver. Then place the new spring in position and push the new button into place and test for correct operation. With extended use, swarf can build up inside of the pipe scraper. To clean out the swarf, first remove the pipe scraper from the drill. Grip the centering cone tightly and undo the bolt with a 6mm hex head. Remove the cone and clean out any debris. To reassemble, make sure the keyway on the shaft and the cone are aligned. Apply a small amount of thread lock to the bolt thread and reinstall the bolt. Test the pipe scraper for correct operation. The Gebret Pipe Scraper is a fast and efficient tool, saving time on the job site. For more information, head over to gebret.com.au.